residents live under constant siege on the streets of Mariupol. They face relentless shelling and intense street fighting from Russian troops. Sergei Petrov had a lucky escape after two shells hit his house. But neither exploded. Это очень по теории вероятности очень невероятный случай, когда прилетают две мины в одно место, любая могла меня убить, и обе не взрываются. Мне мама сказала: "Сынок, ты в этот день родился заново". Mariupol is a strategic port city that would let Russia access the Sea of Azov. It's faced the worst of Russia's onslaught. An estimated 80 to 90% of the city has been completely destroyed. Russian troops bombed this theater in March. Over a thousand people were seeking safety here. It's now mostly rubble. About 300 people are thought to have died as a result of the attack. Humanitarian organizations have urged both sides to respect safe corridors to evacuate Mariupol residents. But attempts at evacuation have been halted, aid convoys forced to turn back. After retreating from northern Ukraine, Russia is expected to refocus its attacks towards the east, with Mariupol the main target. Mariupol is the heart of this war today. We are fighting, we are strong, we are strong. If it will be done, we will have more weak positions. Around 100,000 of Mariupol's former 440,000 residents remain. The city's mayor saying more than 5,000 civilians have been killed so far.